The Feast of the Monkeys by John Philip Sousa. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Neil Donnelly. In days of old, so I've been told, the monkeys gave a feast. They sent out cards with kind regards to every bird and beast. The guests came dressed in fashion's best, unmindful of expense, except the whale whose swallowed tail was soaked for fifty cents. The guests checked wraps, canes, hats, and caps, and when that task was done, the footman, he with dignity, announced them one by one. In Monkey Hall the host met all, and hoped they'd feel at ease. I scarcely can, said the black and tan. I'm busy hunting fleas. While waiting for a score or more of guests, the hostess said, we'll have the poodle sing Yankee Doodle a standing on his head. And when this through, good parrot, you, please show them how you swear. Oh, dear, don't cuss, cried the octopus, and he walked off on his ear. The orangutan a sea song sang about a chimpanzee who went abroad in a drinking gourd to the coast of Barbary where he heard one night when the moon shone bright a school of mermaids pick chromatic scales from off their tails and did it mighty slick all guests are here to eat the cheer and dinner's served my lord the butler bowed and then the crowd rushed in with one accord the fiddler crab came in a cab and played a piece in C while on his horn the unicorn blew you'll remember me to give a touch of early Dutch to this great feast of feasts, I'll drink ten drops of Holland's schnapps, spoke out the king of beasts. That must taste fine, said the porcupine. Did you see him smack his lip? I'd smack mine too, cried the kangaroo, if I didn't have the pip. The lion stood and said, be good enough to look this way. Court etiquette, do not forget, and mark well what I say. My royal wish is every dish be tasted first by me. Here's where I smile, said the crocodile, and he climbed an axle tree. The soup was brought, and quick as thought the lion ate it all. You can't beat that, exclaimed the cat, for monumental gall. The soup, all cried, gone, Leo replied. T'was just a bit too thick. When we get through, remarked the new, I'll hit him with a brick. The tiger stepped, or rather crept, up where the lion sat. Oh, mighty boss, I'm at a loss to know where I am at. I came tonight with appetite to drink and also eat. As a tiger grand, I now demand I get there with both feet. The lion got all fired hot and in a passion flew. Get out, he cried, and save your hide, you most offensive you. I'm not afraid, the tiger said. I know what I'm about. The lion's paw reached the tiger's jaw, and he was good and out. The salt sea smell of mackerel upon the air arose. Each hungry guest great joy expressed, and sniff went every nose. With glutton look the lion took the spiced and savory dish without a pause. He worked his jaws and gobbled all the fish. Then ate the roast, the quail on toast, the pork, both fat and lean, the jam and lamb, the potted ham and drank the kerosene. He raised his voice. Come all rejoice, you senior monarch dine. Never again, clucked the hen, and all sang Old Lang Syne. End of The Feast of the Monkeys by John Philip Sousa